Hi, I'm Daisy Oskehaug and I love to make quilts. I often get asked about what kinds of tools I use when I'm making quilts and today I'm going to tell you why I like to use antique irons. Um, you might think that there's something um, about the romance or the sort of poetry of using an antique tool for a traditional craft, but it really doesn't have anything to do with that. It's more about the practicality and functionality that these have for me. I was going through an iron every six months or so. I think I went through three in about a year and a half, and that's when I decided I'm not gonna buy any more new irons. Um, sometimes they would fall and break. Uh, the last one broke for no reason at all. It wasn't that it fell, it wasn't that I um, dropped it, uh, it just stopped and my handy husband couldn't get it to work again. So the two of us went up to an antique warehouse in Oslo and walked around and found uh, half a dozen irons. I plugged them all in to make sure that they worked at the shop. I bought four of them for about 800 kroner, which is about $100 US, and brought them home. What I learned when I got home is that one of them did not heat up hot enough, one of them overheated, got way too hot, one of them um, needed a new cord, and I have forgotten about the fourth. I'm not sure what the issue was with that one. But the one that needed a new cord is actually my favorite right now. My husband installed a new cord that is already looking pretty worn. Um, this was two years ago, uh, but it is still working beautifully. Um, this is my iron that overheats, and so I admittedly, if I need to use it, maybe I've taken this one home to do some ironing there, and I'm in the studio, and I need to do something quickly, I'll plug it in, wait till it gets hot, and then I'll unplug it. So I'm kind of doing the temperature regulation on my own because this particular model does not have a um, temperature regulator on it. It does come with this really cute stand, though. That's adorable. Um... One reason that I love the antique irons is that it is, um, they're dry, and, which means I don't add water into them and push a button to get steam to come out. I have found too often that that leaves dirty marks on my quilts or on my fabrics when I'm using them. Um, the other thing I really like about them is that they're heavy. And I realize it may not make that much of a difference, but to me it's just far more satisfying to use a nice, heavy, hot, dry iron when I'm working. So these antique ones have been fantastic. And if I ever do want to use steam, um, I just spray on a little bit of steam or I have some other things like Best Press and Flatter, uh, which I can spray on my fabrics in order to get some of those stubborn wrinkles to come loose. But that's it, that's why I use an antique iron and I will probably never go back to using modern irons if I don't have to. So that's all, thanks.